awkward on computer. All right, now this, this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you guys ways that you can actually write while you're on the internet. So for example, and I'm sorry, but I always use Eureka. My poor sixth grade teachers are probably ready to throttle me for it. Um, but, cause I know you guys don't use it, but it's a good way just to kind of model, look, if there's a PDF on the screen, I want to write on it, how do I do it? So I'm going to look at lesson 17, cause that's my lesson tomorrow. Um, and one of the things that I was really struggling with was what do I do since I can't write on Google Slides? Well, I figured out a way to write on Google Slides too. So I'm gonna pull up a Google Slide for you guys. And, oops, I didn't uh, share my screen. One second, let me do that. Hey, are you really writing on it or are you just going to be using the annotation from your um, Zoom meeting? I am gonna really write on it. Okay. Cool. Um, so let me share my screen. All right. So on this, I don't know if my presentation is going to, oh good, it did. It popped up for you guys. All right. So I am on, This, okay, we're just gonna make it easy. I'm not gonna go looking through us for the right slide. So let's just say I wanna do a quick lesson on this. Well, one of the things that, okay, so I can't do it on this, yes I can. What I did was I added an add-on. Now the add-ons, now I happen to use Firefox, but if you use Google Chrome, your file that you're gonna wanna get or your extension is called web paint and i'm going to put it in chat yeah say it again web paint for chrome use web paint extension okay now for firefox i have web paint as well actually so what i'm going to demonstrate is exactly the same thing that you're going to see in chrome and what it does is when you click I if you guys can see it when I click this little button, I guess I can't do it on screen share. Let me jump back for a sec. Probably because I had an extension. Okay, there we go. Um, let me share my screen again so you guys can see what I just did. Once you install web paint, you'll have a little artist's palette up here in the top right corner. And whether you're using Firefox or Chrome, you'll see it right here, easy to use. You just click it and it pops up this tool right here. You guys see it? And you can just click pen. Voila. Now, you can change colors, you can change transparency, You've got all kinds of little filters here. You've got an eyedropper. You can put in text boxes. Sorry about that. You could add in text right into your slides. And I'm doing this all on Google Slides. Now, if I click the present button, the one thing you gotta remember is to go back to your pointer to be able to click like a mouse. If I go onto the pop-up screen, notice that I don't have that little palette here. I have to actually go to my add-ons and I'm not sure if it'll actually work in presenter mode. There it is. So the one thing that, like if you wanna write on them for sure, you can just pop out of present mode, go to the actual slides and be able to write on them. So if I want to, oh, and I need to clean my screen, otherwise that eight stays on there. Um, the other thing too is if you bought the pen, yes, you can use the pen for this. The only thing that is tricky about it is that you have to use it as a left click. See, if I don't hold the left click down on my pen, then it won't write. But if I do hold the pen down, I can write with my pen using this web tool as well. So that is just a way that you can use the pen, but you have to hold down left click when you use it. But this uh, web paint, 
you can get it on Chrome, you can get it on Firefox, and even if you use Edge, you can probably download that extension. Again, that's Web Paint, and it will let you write on anything. So even on your launch pad, and you're tired of telling the kids for the 15th time which thing to point to, which thing that they're supposed to click on, you can say, please click on focus. It is right here. You can draw on any online picture. If it's, if it's on the internet, if you're in a browser, you have web paint. It's right there because it's an extension it will always use. Now, if I leave, if I leave Firefox, I leave Chrome, now I no longer have that option. But anytime you're online, you can pull up a PDF online or Google Slides online, you have this to work with. Okay? Any questions on web paint? I'm gonna stop sharing so I can see chat and I'll have to switch over. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. You guys can unmute to talk. As long as we're not all talking at the same time, we won't have um, uh, too much feedback. Okay, so I, at the beginning of the school year, was really frustrated um, trying to figure out how to teach hybrid um, at the same time, like teaching the math lesson at the very same time. And my biggest hurdle was teaching Eureka because I always used the Google Slides. And I thought there's gotta be a way I can write on Google Slides on my computer screen and not have to use my big screen because I always would run Google Slides, click forward with my mouse while being in front of my classroom and then use markers on my whiteboard. Well, when I hurt my foot last year, one of the things I was doing was I was using Google Slides from my desk and I was using my mouse back here to write, but it was really sloppy. And I was like, mm, and that wasn't working so well. So that's why I tried the pen. And now I've just kept going with it. And one of the things that I researched when I got the pen is, how can I write on Google Slides? And one of the videos that I found was to, to download in an extension that gives you that palette. And the one that I found was Web Tools, and, or the Web Paint. So I played around with it at home. Um, I had problems with my pen working. And then I realized, well, duh, it's because the mouse, you have to left click to draw. Well, I had to program left click to my pen to make it work. And that took me, a little, I, it should have come to me sooner, but it didn't. So it was really just kind of play, playing around with the technology I had and what I wanted it to do. And um, I've said this before with technology, I'm like a dog with a bone. Like I, 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 I have to solve the problem. I'm very about it. So um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of how I came up with it. Cause I just kept trying to, figure out what would work best for me. And hopefully this is something you guys can use. Um, I felt like it was something that a lot of people could. Well, thank you. <laughs> any other questions? Do you guys have any questions on other stuff? It doesn't have to be about teacher made or web paint, or if you do, you can speak up now. <laughs> 